if you've used NumLookup, then you already know that we provide some of the most comprehensive and accurate phone reports from reverse phone lookups. And we provide these for free. In our searches, we use tons of sources to aggregate raw data. And you might be thinking, where the heck do these guys get all this data from? Well, in today's video, I'm going to be unraveling the mystery behind where we get our data from. Our first and most reliable data source is the phone companies themselves. We have direct partnerships with most of the phone companies in the US. And because of this connection, we're able to get the most accurate and real-time information for most phone numbers. Our second most informative and reliable source is social media. If you have a social media account such as Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, or Snapchat, chances are that you've entered your phone number for security purposes. And oftentimes this shows up as a two-factor authentication system. Well, oftentimes these records are public, and with the algorithm that our website uses, if you've connected your number to these accounts, then they're available for viewing on NumLookup. Our third method is through a type of data known as leads data. Imagine you're looking to buy an AC unit or an expensive TV. Oftentimes when you start this search, you fill out an online form, or you enter a subscription service. If you've seen one of these forms before and filled it out, chances are this has become public information. Most of this data, commonly known as lead data, eventually gets sold to online data brokers. And while this information isn't always the most reliable, we use it in conjunction with the information that we already have. Our fourth method is through property records. If you've ever bought or sold a property, or even paid a property tax, then the information that you use within that county becomes public record. And we have partnerships with many of the counties across the country. Our fifth and final method is through the first layer of the internet. Just like Google, our algorithms are constantly scraping the web, going through millions and millions of pages every day. Our models are fine-tuned to focus on phone number information, and so whenever they come across a phone number on any given website, it's pretty good at being able to connect that information to the person that it belongs to. Now, while I haven't gotten too deep into each individual source, I hope this gives you an idea of just how expansive our searches are. Keep in mind that there are times we might not have information on a phone number, and a lot of the times this is due to the number being a VoIP phone number. These are essentially disposable phone numbers, often powered by apps such as Google Voice or Skype. These are often used by scammers, as a majority of the time there is often very little ID verification required to get these phone numbers. I hope you found this video helpful, and if you did, please consider dropping a like. And if you have any other questions, please drop them down in the comments. And until next time. Thank you.